In this video, we will be making our parts tray. The first step in making this parts tray is to cut out the corners, but leave the tabs. Do not cut off the tabs. As we cut this using the aviation snips, we want to ensure that we are only using the lower three-fourths portion of the snips. Do not use the tip of the snips or it will deform your sheet metal. We will be following our solid object line with the aviation snips. Now that my sheet metal parts tray has been laid out and we have cut out the waste from the corners, we are ready to begin our procedural operation for turning this from a piece of sheet metal into a functional object. Moving over to the box and pan brake, we're going to complete our first operation by lining up our number one dashed line with the finger blocks and we will bring up the bending leaf as far as it'll go. After that we will loosen the finger blocks, tighten them back down, turn our parts tray over and bring up the bending leaf. Our objective is to create a single hem, so we're going to bring this together just a little bit more. And again, using the finger blocks, we're going to bring this down just a little bit. And we can move on to the next side. This procedure will be done with all of our identified number one operations. After that we can complete operation number two by placing our number two line under the finger blocks as we bring those down. The difference with the number two operation is that we want to create a 90 degree angle. So when we lift up the bending leaf we only want to go 90 degrees and the metal will spring back a little bit. So if we take a look here, we're not quite at 90 degrees. So we're gonna actually go a little bit past 90 degrees and double check it again. And that is looking much better. The same operation will be done on the other side, also labeled as number two. Now we want to make sure that our tabs will easily go on the inside of our parts tray. So I'm going to use the bench vise and gently clamp this so that there is a small gap between the top of the teeth and my parts tray tab. I'm then going to use a ball peen hammer and gently tap the tab down a little bit so that when I fold up the ends those tabs will be inset on our box.
and we will want to do this for all four corners. Using the box and pan brake, I'm going to complete my third operation. And we want to make sure that those tabs will go on the inside of the box. So as we fold this up, we want to make sure that those tabs are positioned correctly. And our last process is to spot weld each of our locations identified as number four. And lastly, any sharp edges can be finished with a metal file. And if done correctly, your parts tray should fit inside the toolbox.